because she's not unique. Celebrities, normal people, are all subjected to mean comments on social media. She's not special in that way. That I still have confidence, and I could still like look in the mirror and think that I'm pretty. Because you wouldn't be crying and this upset if there wasn't a part of you that believed those comments. Specifically, what are these creases in her cheeks? These could be small festoons or malar mounds. It can also occur as a consequence of injections of fillers, specifically hyaluronic acid, around that muscle. I do think the bigger picture is she needs to have this conversation with her mother. Her mother is the one that exploited all of them at a point to make their millions, their multi-millions and even billions when you get to Kim off of exploitation and their looks. Kylie Jenner is facing the backlash regarding her looks like never before and as many people are putting it, she's testing her own sour medicine. In other words, she's getting to feel how harsh she and her family have been all along, setting unrealistic beauty standards in the society and she's not loving any second of it. So let's start with how she's keeping up with her haters. In the most recent episode of their show, Kylie Jenner was seen failing to contain her emotions as she uncontrollably broke into tears while she talked about it with her sister Kendall Jenner. It would affect anyone. And then I see some, I'll see some comments and it's like, where some people be like, this is really mean and defend me. Like, why are we talking about her looks? Yeah. It's 2024. She had a problem with how so many people write negative comments on her posts. And here is what she had to say. I hear nasty things about myself all the time. I think it is just about 10 years of hearing about it. 10 plus years. It just gets exhausting. It is a miracle that I still have confidence and I could still look in a mirror and think that I'm pretty. She added that people have been talking about my looks since I was 12, 13, before I even got fillers. People talked about my looks and it is just so hurtful. You can look at pictures since I'm 13. I just have these lines, but I've had them since I was a yeah. child. I've just like, I hear nasty things about myself all the time. I'm wearing too much makeup and it's like, you're wearing too much makeup. Then I go and don't wear a lot of makeup and someone catches me in a weird light. I've never cried about this before, but I guess it does affect me. She also said that she's human and there's only so much that she can take. And then added that I went on a journey last year of dissolving half my lip filler. I hate even having this conversation over and over and over again. It feels like it's a waste of my breath because I think with me, it is never going to change. I'm kind of like so numb to people talking about mm -hmm. my looks at this point. And I just want to know why on the internet no one says anything or think that it's okay. Kendall Jenner, who was sitting with her the whole time, listening and calming her down, said that our family has been in the industry for a long time and sadly, it is something we need to grow a tough skin on. I think that's a general thing with our family, we're dehumanized. They don't think that there is any rules with us, whereas like if you talked in the same way you do about us, any other woman, people would come to their defense all day long. So when you open up that part of your life to the general public, it is going to come with criticism. And that's just that. So if it, this is something that she does not want to be a part of and she cannot handle the public scrutiny, maybe she needs to think about taking a step back from the limelight. Now, like I mentioned earlier, people are so mean and they're justified in being mean and rude. Look, the Kardashians have been in the industry for a very long time and one of the things they have achieved is flipping what was the typical beauty standards and introduced their own beauty standards, the unrealistic type, which has been dubbed the infamous Kardashian effect. Unedited photos of Kylie Jenner are circulating the internet and fans are saying the 25-year-old looks like she's aged 15 years. Fans have chimed in on her alleged face filler saying, quote, her face has aged so much and Kylie Jenner literally looks 40 in the face. In this, they made sure that a woman to be beautiful, they have to have their lips volume pumped up with lip fillers, their butt the same way with a Brazilian bad lift, contouring procedures and so many more of which includes their popularized slim thick body shape 
all the Kardashian women, including their 68-year-old mother, have spent years and years under the knife trying to say to the bar high that they almost look unrecognizable from the former version of themselves, and one of them who managed to do it so well was Kylie Jenner. I feel like in this moment she's not really relatable because of the toxic beauty standards that her family set, specifically from Chris. Um, and Kylie has even said for the longest she didn't want to wear her hair up because our own family members used to make fun of her ears. Now, I'm not going to go over the history of their surgeries and their beauty standards controversies, but I want to address the fact that even Kylie Jenner herself at some point felt like the beauty standards they were setting were too high. On one episode of their show, she said that all of us just need to have a bigger conversation about the beauty standards we are setting. I don't want my daughter to do the same things I did. I wish I'd never touched anything to begin with. You've been telling you this. You've like corrupted an entire generation, multiple generations, and yet it took her having a daughter to care or realize. On another occasion, she said that I just feel like we have a huge influence. What are we doing with our power? I just see so many girls on the internet now fully editing photos themselves. Anyways, so they set the bar so high and now even themselves, they're no longer managing to keep up with how high they set the bar. This whole recent conversation came from the backlash Kylie Jenner has been facing recently, where if I was to sum it all up in one picture, it would be in one side-to-side -side picture where they said that she looks like she's in her 40s and put her up against Cillian Murphy and if I'm being honest, it looks like they were born on the very same day despite Kylie Jenner just being 26 and Cillian Murphy being 48 year old, almost 50 people. So this perfectly sums up where Kylie Jenner is right now and one of her looks that sparked controversy was when she made an appearance at the Jean-Paul Gaultier Spring Summer 2024 where many people said that she looks drastically so old. Now, she just said that when she opts to go with less makeup, she gets caught up in weird light and people complain. It's like this picture, which for the first time I was like, okay, we're not going to wear a lot of makeup. So it's like, I'm trying to, it's like, I'm wearing too much makeup and it's like, you're wearing too much makeup. Then I yeah. go and I don't wear a lot of makeup and someone catches me in like a weird light. But I just think that it is either about too much surgeries that she's had that are now starting to catch up with her or she still needs to get more and more in order to keep a normal person's face. But either way, it is their own actions that are coming back to haunt them because if they didn't set the bar that high, she wouldn't even be in this place where she feels the need to look a certain way. And if it wasn't for her family trying to flip the system, she wouldn't even have gotten all those much fillers and surgeries in the first place. Anyways, like I said, people totally have no mercy no matter how much tears she sheds and one of them said that not when their family have set the tone for unrealistic expectations when it comes to body images. They're the reasons most women and girls are insecure. I don't think bullying is right nor do I condone it, but yeah. Another one said that people hate on her so much because you thought it was okay to get all that surgery, now you're in your 20s looking like him in her 40s. Another one said that sorry, but don't completely change your appearance and face and then say the modern beauty standards, then get mad that people criticize. And then I'll see other comments like, because she did it to herself, she up her face, she has so much surgery and I'm like... I just, even if I did get so much surgery and I have this and I got all these things, I still don't think it's okay to talk about someone's looks. I agree. Well, the hate is so growing and I honestly feel what these people are saying because this family have ruined the lives of so many women and girls who completely got their faces and body ruined while trying to look like them through going under the knife and all that. So I personally don't feel a single sorry for her because she did it to herself and so many other women. Anyways fam, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel to keep updated.